set isn't new. It isn't a fad. It's not a just new phenomenon that, you know, just came out of the blue over the last couple of years or that Cisco created. It's always been here. We just called it something different. A lot of businesses and industries have always practiced custom success. Luxury car companies, professional sports teams, and, and retailers like Nordstrom, to name a few. Let's try to apply this to a sports franchise. You know, I'm a simple guy and I'm a big sports fan. So let's see how my local favorite minor league baseball team, you know, applies and drives customer success. The local minor league team here in the area is are the Durham Bulls, and some of you have seen the movie. But when we go, when I go to that game, it's all about the fan experience. They play games and hold giveaways every inning. They have a weekly, and I think it's Thursday nights, is one dollar hot dogs, fries, and beer. And they offer family packs around forty dollars, so a family of four can go out and have a great evening and doesn't have to take out, you know, a small personal loan just to have a fun night out. Now, while I'm at that game, and now how does that help? You know, how do all of these experiences come out and result in positive outcomes for the Durham Bulls? First and foremost, all the home games are sold out. If you try to go to a one o'clock game on a Tuesday in Durham, the game is sold out because they got kids groups and families, everybody's there. I've been there, it's hot, but it, it, it's a stadium is packed. Second, and most importantly, they have a 95% renewal for season ticket holders. In this case, customer success has delivered on the mission, providing value and creating happy fans that return and renew their season ticket packages. If you notice, I never mentioned the actual baseball game. I don't even know who they were playing. Or I don't even care if they won. The most important thing for me was the experience. The game is secondary. So what's the opportunity? I've already told you what the opportunity is. But it's different for you. How does all this translate to you, the partner? And how does that translate to selling software and services? First, the product does matter. However, Customers can get that same product from any partner at the same price. Why should a partner invest in customer success? Sustainable partner profitability. Partners with a custom success practice differentiate themselves and create con a continuous loop of customer opportunities because customer success leads to happy customers and happy customers buy more stuff. Simple as that. It's not rocket science here. Remember, your customer is worth 10x their initial purchase price, purchase with you. And right now, you're only getting the initial, pur the initial purchase from the majority of your customers. So all of that extra revenue is going out the window or going to your competitors. Adoption delivers benefits for both customers and partners. You know, it's a two-sided coin for everybody. What are the benefits to the customer? First, the business outcomes. Customers buy for a reason, and adoption helps them to help reach helps the customer reach those desired outcomes faster. You know, by engaging in the customer success beyond the deployment, so post deployment, and providing onboarding services, customers get what they pay for. The goal of customer success is increasing or decreasing, depending on how you you know kind of look at that definition time to value. Bottom line, if the desired outcome is achieved sooner, the customer is now open and receptive to further business-related conversations. Next, adoption motions increase feature utilization. Customers usually have been, you know, more a la carte in the past, but now with the move to more EAs and suites and packages, they're still buying the desired, you know, software, but they still only want that initial reason. By driving adoption, you're helping them realize some of those additional features that exist in the package. That's called feature utilization. And when you increase that feature utilization, you're increasing awareness and adding value that the customer didn't even know was there for them. And finally, value realization. That, that's the big, big opportunity here. Customers are going to realize that value sooner and at a greater extent. You're maximizing that $100,000 purchase. 
they're going to be much happier and be more willing to have that next level conversation with you. By continuing the conversations and helping them get over some of those common pain points, you're creating that value that leads to your benefits. 